What's going on guys? It's Reese Dame back here with eXp Realty. Are you thinking about relocating to San Antonio and you wanna dive deeper into how much it actually costs to live here? Well today, that's what we're getting into. We're gonna break down the exact cost of living in 2024 in San Antonio, Texas. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end where I'm going to reveal the total, of course, subjective number of what it costs to live here in San Antonio, Texas. Make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, turn on those notifications too. I post videos every week, staying up to date with the latest insights in living in San Antonio, Texas. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Just remember, if you're thinking about relocating to San Antonio, Texas, we got your back. Give us a call, text, or email days, nights, and weekends so I can help you make your property dreams come true. Relocating is what we specialize in and I can't wait to talk with you. Now stay tuned because we're gonna break down the exact cost of living in San Antonio, Texas in 2024 right now. So I wanna begin by stating that the cost of living here in San Antonio, Texas is 9% lower than the national average which is awesome, just to begin. I wanna go ahead and dive into housing costs and look at some of the averages around the United States. I wanna begin by stating that the average housing cost here in San Antonio last month in March of 2024 was around $370,000. In Texas, if we wanna compare that to Dallas, which is around $475,000, and Houston, which is around $400,000, there's automatically a big difference. Beyond that, comparing to Los Angeles, which is around $960,000, and New York, which is around $830,000, you can see that the cost of living just in housing is a lot lower than the national average. Of course, the down payments are gonna differ, your monthly payments are gonna differ once you factor in house insurance, uh, property taxes, things along those lines. In the long run, usually houses are gonna be cheaper here in San Antonio, Texas. You know, San Antonio is known for having a higher property tax. Last year in 2023, it was 54.159, I believe, per $100 of taxable value that's gonna be put on your property, um, which is a little bit higher than the national average. So that is something to consider. And you know, on this channel, we get into the good, the bad, and the ugly. I just wanna keep it real with you guys. So property taxes are a little bit higher. However, San Antonio does offer tax exemptions. Um, I am not by any means providing legal advice or I'm not a, a tax you know, advisor or anything like that, but I just like to give out public information to you guys that you might not know about. Um, so if you do, or if you are interested in filing a property tax exemption, it is due by May 1st of the taxable year, but you should check it out and hopefully lower those property taxes. Even though we do have higher property taxes as well, Texas does not have state income tax compared to some other states around the United States. So um, if you're currently paying that, you can totally factor that out and it might be something to weigh. The property taxes that you do pay here in San Antonio go to things like school districts, public health care, the roads, the county, the city, things along those lines that you're normally paying taxes for. On average, you can expect to pay around $5,800 a year in property taxes. Of course, this is subjective based on the neighborhood that you live in and um, what kind of house you're looking at, which is of course something that we can run over whenever you guys reach out to me to help you find your dream property. So next up on the cost of living in here in San Antonio, Texas, we're gonna talk a little bit about transportation. So San Antonio is a very widely spread out city. A lot of other cities, if you think about New York, if you think about Austin, every time you go, you see these super tall sky rises. Those smaller cities are building up because they don't have much room to go outwards. San Antonio, whenever it was built, was built in the exact opposite way. It was built outwards rather than upwards. So everything is pretty spread out. Even getting from one side to the other takes a pretty long time. So it's almost necessary that you have a vehicle um, if you're gonna be living here in San Antonio. The price per gallon of gas currently in San Antonio is around $3.49. The national average is $3.79. So not too far off. 
uh, pretty consistent. Now, if you're getting into California where it's in the high fives, even sixes, um, dollar wise per gallon, that's gonna be a huge difference. So something to look at there. We do have a public transportation service. It's called Via Metropolitan Transit. I'm gonna put up a map here of the routes that it covers and it mainly is inner San Antonio. Um, I believe it only goes out to one of the loops, but I'll put up the map here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. If you are needing to take daily transportation to and from your job, um, you know, I'll kind of break down some of the prices for the passes for public transportation. An annual pass is around $365. A day pass is around $275, and a monthly pass is around $38. So just depending on what you're needing, they do offer um, different options in terms of lengths and prices and things along those lines. The city also does have a plethora of rideshare opportunities like Lyft, Uber, things along those lines. They're just definitely not as economical. Um, as having your own vehicle. Whenever we're talking about commuting to work, because there is so much traffic here in San Antonio, a 12 mile commute could take you upwards of 30 minutes. It just kind of depends on how far you're going, to which side of the city you're going to. Right now, it's April of 2024, it'll be May tomorrow. The traffic is absolutely horrendous right now. I will not lie to you guys. They are doing so much construction, mainly building bridges, um, building the city upwards because we need it <laughs> um, with the great expansion. If you guys are wondering why everybody's moving to San Antonio right now, I'll definitely link this video up right here or right here, whichever side it's on. Um, but that is gonna tell you guys exactly why people are moving to San Antonio, Texas. So definitely check that out. You also have to factor in driving to the grocery store, driving to the gym, do you have to pick up your kids from school? And how close is that to your actual residence? In San Antonio, it's nice to have everything pretty closely located to you. And there are a ton of different neighborhoods that offer a whole lot, which makes this possible. But transportation, the cost of that is pretty subjective on what you're doing and what your exact needs are. So groceries definitely fall into the category of cost of living. So what is our grocery bill gonna look like? For a family of four here in San Antonio, Texas, you can expect to spend around $1,300 a month on your groceries, depending on what you're getting. The main grocery stores that we have here in San Antonio with multiple locations is called HEB. If you are from out of state and you've never heard of this, this is like the grocery store of San Antonio. Not all of Texas, I would even say, because they don't have them in Dallas, but they are located in Houston and Austin and surrounding areas. Similar to like a Kroger or an Albertsons or Ralph's um, if you're in California. Something along those lines, it just kind of has everything you might need. San Antonio does also have Target, Sprouts, Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's, which is one of my personal favorites. They have great prices there. Another very quick cost of living that you might want to factor in is going to be healthcare. Um, this is completely subjective. I know I keep saying that, but this one especially is going to depend on your plan. It's going to depend on if you have a healthcare plan or if you're just going to urgent care, if you have kids, a lot of those things. So um, I can put up an average at the end of this video, but just know that that is gonna be completely dependent on what you need and what fits your needs. All right, so another very important thing to factor into the cost of living anywhere you are are how much you're gonna be paying for your utilities. If you've watched any of my other videos or if you've talked to anybody about living here in Texas, you may have heard about the brutal summers that we have. And that is definitely something that can rack your AC bill up into something that you've never seen before. It's very easy to let that get out of control. According to rentcafe.com, the average monthly utility bill is around $271 here in San Antonio, Texas. This is also a subjective number. It depends on how cold how warm you like your house, what temperatures. I know my brother lives in a one bedroom apartment here in San Antonio and he likes it super, super cold. During the summertime, his utility bill just for a one bedroom apartment has gotten up to around $130, which is pretty high for a one bedroom apartment. So it really just depends on what you and your family prefer. 
Of course, there are thermostats that are gonna be able to help you save a little bit more money with climate control. The insulation of the home is gonna have a lot to do with AC control as well, which is all something that you wanna check on whenever you're looking at purchasing a home. This utility bill typically includes electric, gas, and water. So that's what I'm talking about whenever I'm talking about that utility bill. Um, whenever you have Wi-Fi and cable, this is also subjective. I know a lot of people are moving away from cable and mainly looking at streaming services. How many streaming services do you have a month and which ones are they? And you know, are you doing no ads? Are you doing ads? It's all of these things that can factor in. So that's something to think about whenever you're wanting to calculate your personal cost of living in a city. But you can usually expect to pay between 50 to $100 a month, depending on what you're looking at. And I'm not sure if that, this is something that I would exactly consider a cost of living. Um, however, you know, especially if you have kids, entertainment, is going to be something that you're going to want to factor into just the cost of everyday life here in San Antonio. Um, so depending on what you're going to do, how often you're eating out, um, you know, movie tickets are around $15 each. If you're going to Six Flags, it's around $40 per ticket. Kind of just depends on what you're doing. If you guys ever want to go to Schlitterbahn, which is in New Braunfels, if you haven't been to this water park before, I 100% suggest it. As adults, me and my boyfriend like to go <laughs> during the summertime, but that's $30 a ticket and we have to drive an hour. So when you're going to dinner, are you doing upscale? Are you doing pizza? Are you just kind of going middle line, you know, something to factor in. There are also a ton of free things to do in San Antonio. And if you guys would like for me to make a video about things to do for free, then please leave a comment down below. Um, but just to give you guys some ideas, Ruby City in downtown San Antonio is free entry on the weekends. It's a museum. And there's also the Japanese Tea Garden, which is free entry. Also open on the weekdays and weekends and it's absolutely beautiful. It's something really cool to check out. All right, so we've gotten to the end of our video where I'm going to reveal the cost of living for both a family of four and a single individual. I calculated this using a cost of living estimator that I found online, which I'll link down below. It's called New Numbeo, I believe. But if you wanna check that out, you're more than able to. The cost of living for a family of four per month is around $4,000 without rent. And the monthly cost for a single person without rent is around $1,000. Like I said, it's completely subjective on what you're doing. If you use the calculator that I've included in the description box below, you're able to put in your exact needs, like how often you're going out to dinner, clothing, the number of kids you have, if you're drinking, things along those lines, which I would absolutely suggest to do that. All right, guys, well, that pretty much lays out the cost of living here in San Antonio, Texas in 2024. Just remember all of these numbers are subjective and they easily fluctuate with the economic and good stuff that's going on in the world. But just remember, I'm a realtor. I'm ready to help you make your move. Give us a call, text, or email days, nights, and weekends so I can help you make your property dreams come true. Make sure to visit my channel every week for new videos on the latest in San Antonio, Texas, and we'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.